Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. Hope you're all doing well. And this afternoon, I've had quite an interesting afternoon. I uh, had a bit of time on my hands this afternoon, um, taking my mate shopping again. So I thought I'd pop and check out the uh, little, like, I don't want to call it a junk store, but it is really, it's like a nicky nacky sort of knick-knack, sells old tools and old bits and bobs um, in this place, in this old chapel. They have some stores in there. I've been there before and picked up some interesting castings, so I thought I'd have another look. And again, he had some quite nice castings. Um, he usually sells old dinky and old matchbox, and um, they all range from 50p to a pound, and some are a bit more expensive. But anyway, I picked up... So I just angle the camera down, and I'll show you some of the cars that I picked up. So, came across this little Porsche 944. <coughs> Excuse me. Little Porsche 944 in black, and it is uh, 1987 copyright, so it is the Macau years. And it's got these opening doors on it, and as you can see, it's in fairly good condition. I haven't done nothing to it, it's as it came. It's got a few little chips and scrapes on it, but um, it's in relatively good condition, so this car won't be getting restored, this will be being left alone. But uh, pretty cool nonetheless. So that's the first one, and that was a 50p car. So can't grumble about that. Then the next one I found for 50p was this Matchbox Super Kings um, Audi Quattro um, that has opening doors. If I can get the light in there, and an opening bonnet, which is pretty cool. So you can see the. No, you can't. You can see it says turbo there. As everybody knows, these things did really well back in the rally, back in the 80s. Um, again, this has got a bit more play-worn to it. It's got a bit more chips and dents, and it's got one of the spotlights are missing, unfortunately. But nonetheless, again, it costs 50p. And again, I may restore this in the future. I may not. Um, I only really restore stuff that's really bashed up. Um, so you can see it's 82 copyright. So this would have been... <clears throat> Excuse me, got dry throat. This would have been at the end of Lesney production, I presume. So that's pretty good. And again, still rolls well. Suspension. So we got that. And then I got this little majorette for 50p. This little Renault Express van with opening rear doors. So it's pretty cool. Don't see majorette much where I live. So it's pretty cool. So it's like a, what does it say on the side? Euro car, Europe car. Rent a car. Yes, I can. You see Matchbox Express. Sorry, Matchbox Express. Renault Express, Majorette. But uh, again, not in too bad a condition. So that's that one. I've got the stuck wheel there. So I found that. That's pretty cool. And then I got this. This, so these are all 50p, and then I've got this Corgi, which it looks like it's been drilled out at some point and had the interior nicked and the glass. But uh, I just thought I'd have that as well because that I'll possibly do something with at some point. It's always handy to have spares, but it is based on, I think it's a, a Series 1 Land Rover. So look, uh, short, wheelbase, short wheelbase Land Rover. But uh, pretty cool, nonetheless. But the real sort of find that was, um, the, the, you know, the really good find today was this. So I'll just put the camera back a little bit higher. Let me bring it back a bit. Was this Matchbox Rollomatics number 73 Weasel. And it's still boxed with the original price on it. You can see it would have been 45p. And again, I've researched this a little bit, and these are fetching in this condition. Pretty good money. As you can see, I paid five pounds for it. And uh there's the back details. So some of the other cars that you could get when the rollomatics were are around. But uh so this is a 1974 copyright. I think the Weasel is a 73 copyright, I believe. But I will be opening this very carefully um, 
you know, this has been boxed for what, 46 years, something like that. So, um, now if the box on this was in absolutely mint condition, then I may have an issue with opening it up. But as it's a bit floppy and seen better days, I will open it. But I'm going to very, very carefully open it. And then I'm going to compare it possibly to, I've got another weasel from a 1994 issue. Uh, five pack, which I've shown before. So anyway, I'm going to pause for two seconds whilst I carefully open this. And we're back. So as you can see, I very carefully removed it as best as I can. And like I said, it it, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm an opener, you know. Like I said, if this thing was absolutely pristine carded, then I would have um, maybe argued a fact of leaving it in there. But like I said, I am an opener. So I have opened it as gently as I can. And uh, just keep this for posterity, you know, just keep it for, you know, it's nice to see the original box as they come in. So anyway, we'll take a look at the, the weasel itself. Let's just move the camera down. Now, I'm not a massive army vehicle type collector, I'm truthfully honest. But I do really enjoy collecting the old Lesney Matchbox. So as you can see, it's in, it's in really, obviously it's in mint condition. You can see roller matics. Uh, number 73, Weasel, Lesney Products, products. Uh, 1973, copyright, made in England, all that bit on there. But <laughs> it's that unused, it doesn't want to move. There we go. I'm going to force it, but it is pretty... Let me just try it on the carpet two seconds. Yeah, it moves on the carpet. It's just because even though it's old, obviously it's 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 new, so it's all. But uh, it does move on the carpet. But pretty cool anyway. So that was that was a good find, and he also has the scout car there, but I didn't take money out with me because I wasn't planning on going diecast hunting. So. He's put it to one side, and I'm going to go back tomorrow and pick up the Scout car, um, which is exactly pretty much the same age, same same looking box, just with the Scout car version of this. Um, but we, like I said, I will compare the newer version that I've got. Let me just open up this old five pack. Which I have shown before, so I'll just... Bring the camera up for those that haven't seen these so you can see this was a five pack that i picked up a few months ago let's bring this down so this is from 1990 well at least the copyright in the box is 1994 um let's have a look turn around the right way you can see so again, it says Matchbox, doesn't say Rollomatics on it. Matchbox, I think that stands for International, possibly. Um, Weasel, made in Thailand, 1973 copyright. Is a metal base on this, which is pretty cool. Um, trying to see if there's any... And this does roll, this has got the Rollomatics system on it, because it does... There you go. But I think this is from the... I've got to remember, is it Tyco? Years, possibly. But uh, it, this is pretty cool. Um, this is still, what, from 90, 90, 94. So this is still, well, over 25 year old. And in very nice condition. And then obviously you've got the original version that it came from. There is a slight weight difference, only slight. I'm not imagining it. There is a slight weight difference. But nice to have the original version. There you go, the turret's moving now. But very, very cool anyway. So that's the highlight of today. And, uh, well, I might as well get them out now. They're all here as well. But as I said before, this was from a 94 pack. So you've got, a, got the Jeep. 
which is pretty cool. And this is my favourite one out of that pack. This is the Hummer. With the opening back. But I'm not going to get these all out anyway now because, like I said, these are just... These ain't today's finds. But anyway, so that's today's finds. That's pretty cool. And uh, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to go back and uh, pick up the Scout car. Same price. And uh, I'll obviously show that when I get it. But anyway, uh, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos like this. If you like this type of content, stay tuned. I will be doing I've got another restoration that I'm working on. Um, that should be ready for possibly what day we today it's Friday I, I'll be doing that Sunday because I've got some more spraying to do to it and stuff so stay tuned for that and then obviously Monday's weekly review but anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon